So now we're going to have a little chat with Claudio Castillo, who owns the Claudio Castillo Art uh, Art Studio uh, on the drive in Wilton Manors, right in the heart of everything, right next to um, Myth Gastro Bar, right next to the Eagle. It's right there. And um, for those of you who don't know, Claudia is very active in the local scene. So welcome, Claudia. Thank you so much. And, and, and give me that opportunity to chat and be part of this video project about Wilton Manors and the great diversity community we have here in Wilton Manors. I'm so glad to hear you say that. Now, I know you were born in Colombia and you moved to the States um, about 25 years ago. And um, you settled right there in Wilton Manors with your gallery. What does Wilton Manors mean to you? Um, it means a lot. It's my community. It's my place that I choose to have my business. Why? It has a diversity of uh, an inclusive community um, to bring a lot of uh, tourists and, and, and enjoy residents to walk here. I love that. Yeah, it's an amazing place. It's so tiny. I mean, it's like not much bigger than Central Park in New York, but there's so much going on there. And you've had your hands in a lot of those projects. I know, um, are you the president of the Wilton Drive Improvement District now? I am. I give a lot of back to my community. I am the chairperson of Wilton Drive Improvement District. Yes, and I'm a, a board member of uh, Gray for Lauderdale Chamber of Commerce, that is the offices here also in Wilton, in the heart of Wilton Manors. So in other organizations, no profit organizations. So. Now, one, one thing I know you had a big part in there, and um, it's one of my favorite things about Wilton Manors. In fact, it, we opened our first video with it, is the Rainbow Bridge. When you leave Fort Lauderdale and cross into Wilton Manors, you have to go across a bridge. And that bridge is now known as the Rainbow Bridge. And you had a big part in that. What was that all about? Um, the icon of Rainbow Bridge painting along the drive was Justin Flippen, the lay mayor, last idea for the city. And after he passed in February 2020, I focused all my effort to assure that his idea was implemented. Uh, he wanted to connection between Wilton Manors and Fort Lauderdale and an icon entry for this community. So for me, I'm very grateful in order to be part of that process. And it's a huge statement. I mean, even though it's just some paint on, the, on a bridge, it really makes a huge statement because when you're crossing that line, going from Fort Lauderdale High School across the bridge, and entering Wilton Drive, it basically says, you are free, you are welcome, we love everybody here. Yes, it's correct. an amazing statement for just a little bit of paint. Correct. Now, Wilton Manors has a lot of art projects going on, and uh, all over the, this tiny little island city, there are installations of statues and sculptures and murals all over the place. Um, one of those projects is the Manatee Project, which was a series of um, of sculptures of manatees that were custom painted. Tell me a little bit about that project and what you had to do with it. Um, I designed the Rainbow Manatee in honor to my friend, lay mayor, Justin Flippen. Art Gallery 21 created an exhibit, Mermen and Manatees. It was one of the, and I was one of the three artists invited in that to participate. My manatee was selected to be installed in Justin Frippen Park, and I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, I have a picture of that manatee. It's right there uh, on the drive. You can't miss it. Not too far away from that big disco bunny. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is very great. Now, you have an art gallery there, and I know your art itself is inspired by nature and earth and water. It's a very holistic kind of artwork that's very calming. How did you get into that, that type of artwork? How did that, how did your artistic career evolve into that area? 
um, as you can see, my art is very um, astral intuitive. I, I always love the ocean. It is uh, the constant changes that the water has uh, impact my, my life and, and, and relax on me. So I love to paint um, something that is, is uh, and also can have connection with other uh, people. So it's very, for me, it's very relaxing when I paint in that. And you have shown your artwork all over the world. I mean, you've been in Spain, you've been in Italy, you've been everywhere. Yes. That must be an amazing very, feeling. Can I don't have words to say yes. It's, it's very uh, grateful and, and we are, I'm so happy for that. But all year long, anybody who wants to come see your art in person and wants to maybe buy a piece of artwork from you, you're right there on Wilton Drive. I mean, you can just come up to Wilton Manors and they can come in, they can meet the artist personally and they can buy a beautiful piece of artwork from there. Yes, you can call me if the, the, my door is closed. You can call me, I'll be here in 20, 10 minutes. So I hey, welcome also, everybody here. You also embrace the artwork of other people you love to show artwork from other artists in the area. How do you choose the artists that you put into Wilton Manors in your gallery? Um, I have a list of uh, artists that submit uh, the um, the uh, the art. So um, I like I like because of my market. I like uh, bodies, um, human uh, portraits, and depends the. The quality I like to have, for example, I like to have watercolors, I like to have abstract, I like to have um, 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 uh, charcoal painting, something that attracts uh, the, the customers. I noticed there's a few pieces in the background there, too, that have a very kind of energetic vibe to them. I'm looking at one right behind you that has, it looks like a person jumping in the air or something. That one? No, on, on the... On the other side, over your um, right shoulder, there's a piece up there that looks like a person jumping, a sculpture or something. It's in a sculpture. I have. I represent an artist here that has a. The, uh, she made um, she made a bronze sculpture in resin. Um, yes, and I represent. I have few um, sculpture from her. Now, a lot of people who know about Wilton Manors or more likely Fort Lauderdale. I know a lot of people think Wilton Manors is like a neighborhood of Fort Lauderdale instead of being its own actual city. But a lot of people think of um, Fort Lauderdale and Wilton Manors as being very white male. And you obviously are Hispanic and a woman. How, do you, how does Wilton Manors react with you? How do people respond to you in, this, in that area? Liz, I, I cannot say how grateful I, I, are, I am with my community. They respond, I mean, you see, I'm here. This is my sixth year in this particular place. Um, Wilton Manor has a woman business owner here, all the drive from the, uh, the Bubbles and Perth apartment night. So there are a few women here. Also, our friends, we are women here to own places. And uh, and yes, you see more male um, uh, tourists here in Resin because they go more in entertainment uh, area. You know, more I imagine more than the women. I think it's always been that way. I I first came out. My first gay bar experience uh, was in the, in the late 1970s, and at that time, the men went out six seven nights a week, and the women went out maybe on Friday or maybe Saturday. Um, there have always been more men's gay bars in the world than there have been women. Um, it's, a, it's just a different lifestyle. But yes. from, what, from what I understand, and this is what really surprised me, is that so many of the bars in Wilton Manors, uh, even the Eagle, which is right next door to you, even the Eagle is welcoming to women. So- yes. any bar. You know, it's a it's a different type of community where everybody seems to love each other. I know the local media loves you because your gallery has won Best Art Gallery. You have been honored as the best artist and 
the best volunteer because of all the work that you do for the community. So obviously they appreciate you being there. I love the energy of this uh, diverse and inclusive community from the local residents to the tourists that come from all over the, the world to enjoy the welcoming experience they, they do not receive in other cities. All the entertainment, nightlife and restaurant, retail store galleries that Wilton Manors offer is incredible. And all, all are welcome here. That's Absolutely. Amazing. And there are some, I know you know a lot of the people there in town. Everybody that I talked to had said, you have to talk to Claudia because, you know, she's it. She's, she's the woman that you need to talk to in Wilton Manors. And so many people have said great things about you. I've spoken to Julian Cavazos, uh, yeah. Alex Sadegi, Salvo Mule, uh, Khan Bashir, and they all love you. Mark Hunter, and of course, Faye Watt. I love all of them. I love my community. And I wanted to say welcome to Wilton Manors. Come here to be at to support all the businesses on the drive and on, on Wilton Manors. I agree 100%. Um, that's why I'm doing this, this video series. It's all about Wilton Manors being the gayest place on the planet because everything there is accepting. It's not yes. like some cities where you have to say, well, let me look for a rainbow flag so I can go in there and be myself. You can walk down the street holding your girlfriend to your boyfriend's hand, kissing, hugging, going to dinner with a group of 10 men or 10 women, and nobody cares. And the most important from the police department, they take care about us too, for everybody. You can feel free to walk here. Uh, it, it's a bubble, but it's our bubble. And we love that. Well, we are so glad to have you as part of the Wilton Manors community. And I look forward to coming by and checking out your gallery when I'm there in a few weeks. And um, we wish you all the best. Thank you. And you can call me anytime, okay? I will Thank do that. Thank you so much.